being able to take it is a real big thing. So, a girl... <laughs> <laughs> What's up boys and girls, how are you doing today? It is Courtney J here and I'm joined by a very special guest. It is my one of, well, one of my best friends. I have many best friends. I'm sorry, you're not the only one. Wow, uh, <laughs> that was deep. <laughs> yeah, I cut like a knife. This is Jordan Barden. He is an amazing friend and you should follow him on his Twitter, on his Instagram, on his Facebook. You should stalk him in real life. All that information will be in the description below as well as my own Twitter and my Instagram. You should go follow me, like everything, share everything and be everything to me because that is what makes you special to me. So today we are talking about girls. Yeah, so we're gonna teach you what we find attractive in a girl really. Um, give you a few tips on what we look for and what we find attractive in girls. Also, just add in, if you didn't recognize, we're both British, so this will be your key aspect into getting a British boyfriend. So if you're looking for that, this is your video to watch. Right, so we'll start off on the biggest point really. I like, well for me personally, I like a girl that's confident and can make make decisions without you having to baby her. So I don't want to come home after a long day and be like, oh, what do you want to eat? And she's like, oh, it's up to you. So I'm like, okay, let's go get, say, a Chinese. She's like, no, nah, we don't, we're not going to have a Chinese tonight. I don't fancy that. So I'm like, okay, let's get a pizza then. She's like, mm, not yeah, tonight. I absolutely hate that. When a girl's really indecisive, like, it, it can be cute. The first time they do it, okay, like, you know, you don't, you've only just met, you don't know each other what they like, so you may be a bit nervous about going, let's go for Indian, because the person might not like an Indian. But when you're in a relationship, and you start properly getting into a relationship, and you want to eat, and time starts flying by, and it's an hour later, and they still haven't decided, that's when I get a bit cranky, because I'm hungry. Yeah, because I don't know about you, but when I'm hungry, I just tend to get moody, yeah, I, I get like argumentative. I'm like, yeah, it's... You don't, you don't want to, like, be sitting there for, like, an hour, like, oh, do you know what? could get this, could get that. I want to be like, no, I fancy this, let's get this. Or what do you fancy? We can get something from the Chinese, we can get something from Pizza Hut, whatever. Or a Nando. Cheeky or a Nando. Nando. The can't, cheeky can't Nando's. can't be a bit of Nando. Okay, if you do want a British boyfriend, buy them a cheeky Nando's, they will just run away with you. That's it, that's marriage material. We've always said this. And if you don't like Nando's, don't come to Britain, really. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I'd like to touch on is a girl with a good sense of humour. That, that is crucial. I like, I hate it when you can't joke with a girl. It's yeah. like the worst thing ever because you try and make a joke and they take it so seriously. Having a good sense of humour is great because for me, humour is one of the biggest parts in a relationship. If a girl can't make you laugh, then I don't really see how it's going to last. Yeah, like because you need that back and forth. You need that that he like the joking with each yeah. other it can it can really make your day like sometimes i i do stuff which is stupid i know it's stupid when i'm doing it <laughs> and when i've done it and i tell april that i've done it she gets so pissed off <laughs> but one of my best things i can do is i i have the ability to make her laugh so always forgiven if i didn't have that ability my relationship would have ended in the first week <laughs> <laughs> when you get into a relationship after a while you can get to that point where you can take the piss out of each other yeah, sort yeah, of yeah. jokes so you've got to be able to be like, t be able to take a joke, a joke as much as being able yeah, to give you can, a joke. If you've got to dish it, you've got to be able to take it. Like exactly. that's, that's the worst thing when you can't take it and then you have huge fallouts and that's what ends the relationship. So this is something which I think a lot of guys might agree on and that is an accent. Now, one of the benefits is if you don't live in England, you have an accent already. And personally, I quite like the, you know, the Georgia accent from America. It's like, I do declare. <laughs> yeah. I, I quite like that accent, I find it a bit sexy. So um, is there any accents what you like? Um, I like, you know, like the typical American girl accent because we've basically grown up around it. So you see a hot girl on the TV, she's most likely American. So it's kind of, it's become a natural thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. <laughs> it's, like, it's always nice to hear someone who who sounds foreign. Sounds like they have a different, I think it's like a different life. You think, yeah. oh, wow, I mean, you know, they're a bit exotic. It yeah. doesn't matter. You've got a different culture to what yeah. you have. And I think that's what people appreciate. And that's what guys appreciate. And that's whether you're from England or you're from America or you're from, you know, Barbados. I think <laughs> yeah. a different accent is going to interest you because it's something culturally different. Okay, the final thing, and this is going to sound funny, but I'm British, Jordan's British, and we wouldn't be living to the stereotype if we didn't mention cups of tea, man. That, a good cup of tea, that's, that's home, that's love. Like, I, I like, with a biscuit, 
Oh, I love my tea. <laughs> on a rainy day, you come in and you just have that nice cup of tea, grab a biscuit, you just chill out, watch the TV. Okay. Perfect. That's insanely British. But <laughs> my girlfriend makes a difference. She makes a really good hot chocolate, like a really good hot chocolate. And literally, I think when I'm drinking, I'm like, oh, this is love. This is, this is, this is what I want in my life every day, this hot chocolate. So yeah, a girly can make a good drink, can, can make a happy home, I say. <laughs> So boys and girls, if you liked that video, please give it a massive thumbs up. As I said at the beginning, you can follow me and Jordan on social media. I'll put it in the description. I'll put it somewhere here so you can click on it. I will tattoo it on Jordan's forehead so I get that free promotion. So if this video helps, do share it because there might be someone who wants a British boyfriend. And as we are British, we're in England, this is probably one of your best options to kind of find out the insight to what guys like over here. As he said before, give it a massive thumbs up. That, there we go. I've oh, got the enthusiasm. I love it. All right, I'm going to say love, peace, and turkey grease. Chicken grease. What? what? That was the word. What? <laughs> Why did nobody ever say it right? For doing this shit for two years, no one ever says it right. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Feel so